Hey, it's Bay, and today I'm going to be talking about the new tripod I just got. I've wanted this tripod for a few years now, and I finally got one. This is the Mi Photo Road Trip in blue. It's an amazing tripod that's around $200 and comes in many different colors. The one I have here is aluminum, but they make carbon fiber ones as well, but they cost more. I'll leave some links in the description if you're interested. This is my current tripod. I've had this for a few years now, and I actually was using this tripod for my YouTube videos. Yup, I put my 3 pound DSLR on this very cheap, mostly plastic tripod. Let me tell you guys, it's not safe to put my DSLR on this tripod, and I even dropped it a couple of times because the head was broken. But I did what I had to do to put out some content for you guys. Anyways, with the tripod, you get a carrying case with a shoulder strap. It is padded so your tripod is more protected from drops. Inside the carrying case, there is a zipper pocket that contains the instruction manual for the tripod, three metal spiked feet, and a tool for tightening the quick release plate to your camera. The minimum height of the tripod when it's all folded up is 15.4 inches, and the maximum height with the center column extended is 61.6 inches. It only weighs 3.6 pounds, but it's able to support up to 17.6 pounds. The ball head is equipped with the Arca Swiss style quick release plate which requires the included tool or a coin to be tightened. To remove the quick release plate, you have to loosen this knob. When you put the plate back on, make sure to tighten it all the way so that it doesn't slide out of place. Next, you have some knobs that you can use to control the ball head. The largest knob locks the ball head in place if it is tightened all the way. The knob right next to it is the drag control knob. This controls the drag on the ball head. The last knob is the pan locking knob, and it is used to lock panning when it is tightened all the way. The ball head can rotate 360 degrees and has some measurements that you can use so that you can get some precise panning. There is also a small bubble level so that you can get some level pans. The ball head comes off just in case you want to use a different head, like a pan head for video work. The legs are my favorite part of this tripod. They fold up over the center column so that it can be more compact. One of the legs has a foam grip on it, which will help in cold temperatures. This particular leg has one awesome feature that I absolutely love. We'll talk more on that later. You have two different positions that the legs can lock into. The first one is the standard tripod position, and the second is a wider position. The legs can be independently locked into place, which will help when shooting at low angles or uneven ground. This tripod comes with the quick twist lock grips for extending the tripod. Many people don't prefer these, but I like them because they look more aesthetically pleasing. The feet of the legs are rubber which are very grippy, but you can replace them with the included metal spiked feet. The center column is adjustable by loosening and tightening the twist lock. On the bottom, there is a hook so that you can hang something heavy like your bag to make the tripod more stable. You can also twist off the hook to remove the center column. This is very useful because you can then insert the center column upside down to get even lower shots. Remember that one leg with the foam grip on it? You can actually unscrew it and put the center column on it to make a monopod. The monopod's maximum height is 64 inches. I really love this feature because I'll always have a monopod whenever I carry this tripod around. This is an amazing tripod and I think it's worth the money. For about $200, you get a very high quality tripod that is compact and can convert into a monopod. The aluminum construction makes this thing tough and durable and you get many colors to choose from. The ball head is nice, and you can use it to get some pretty decent pans. Overall, if you want a tripod that is tough, feature packed, and compact, check this one out. You won't regret it. That was my review of the Mi Photo Road Trip tripod. I can't wait to use this tripod for my videos. If you're interested in this tripod, make sure to check out the links in the description. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!